Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, two big weather events over the next seven days will be some rain Friday morning and then frost on Saturday morning. Other than that, it's going to be uh, some pretty nice spring weather, just feeling more like April, if not March at times, rather than early May. But we had a little more rain last night, and of course that record rain the night before. And now we're doing much better in terms of the rainfall totals for Evansville. For the month of May, up to 1.68 inches, that's about two-thirds above the average. And for the spring season since the 1st of March, 12.6 inches of rain, which is about three inches above the average. And for the year, 21.97 inches, which is roughly six inches above normal. So we were a little drier than average in April, but now we're kind of swinging back towards that uh, wetter than normal pattern, which is going to be with us here, certainly with this next system coming in on Friday. But highs today, generally in the lower 60s. But keep in mind, average highs this time of the year are in the mid 70s. We'll get a little closer to that tomorrow, but we won't be feeling that uh, normal warmth again until at the earliest later next week. Not much out there tonight. Live first warning Doppler has some scattered clouds coming in. There are some sprinkles up to the north. A few of those may make it in here. And a matter of fact, in our Heads Construction Tower camera, you can kind of see some of those clouds off in the distance that are slowly moving our way. But the temperature right now, a chilly 51. And after a windy day, uh, that breeze has settled down from the west at 5 miles per hour. Temperatures now are generally running 45 to 50. Evans is a little warmer at 51. Greenville a bit colder at 44. We're going to level off in the low to mid 40s by daybreak tomorrow morning. And we're still in this northwesterly flow. A little disturbance coming in at the uh, in the upper levels from Illinois and Iowa, and you can see kind of centered right over Illinois, and that's going to come in tonight and be clearing out of the area around daybreak tomorrow morning. And you can see a few very light returns in there. That's about all we'll be dealing with overnight. So future tracker brings the clouds in a bit and then clears them out as the sun is coming up tomorrow morning. So we should enjoy a good deal of sunshine tomorrow. A few clouds will bubble up in the afternoon, but it's going to be a breezy and warmer day with high temperatures in the upper 60s. Certainly the nicest of the next six days, so take advantage of it. Now, most of tomorrow evening will be okay, but the clouds will continue to increase. Won't be as cold, and the leading edge of the rain will be into our western fringe counties at around 930, and it looks like it's going to be getting into Evansville Highway 41 right around midnight. This still looks like that rain overspreads the entire tri-state during the pre-dawn hours on Friday, so a soaking rain and a chilly one at that to start off Friday, but the rain does come to an end from northwest to southeast late in the morning through the early afternoon, but in the process it turns very windy, and it's going to be a cold day, even with that warm May sun, highs only in the mid to upper 50s, and the skies continue to clear for Friday night and the winds settle down. It looks like a frost is likely first thing Saturday morning with a near record low in the mid 30s. Rainfall amounts with this next system, well, it could be right around an inch here in the Evansville area, a little lighter down to the south, a little heavier over southern Illinois. But once we get past that frosty record cold start on Saturday, lots of sunshine, not much wind, but still on the cold side with highs only in the upper 50s. So overnight tonight, partly cloudy and chilly, low to mid 40s for tomorrow. Sunshine, a few clouds early and then again later in the afternoon, a breezy warmer high in the upper 60s. The rain moves in later tomorrow night. Seven day forecast, a wet start to our Friday, but the rain ends as we head into the afternoon. It turns very windy, cold high of 57. 34 Saturday morning would tie the record low, and that's cold enough for some frost, but plenty of sunshine. Otherwise, 57. Mother's Day, not too bad. Increasing clouds, a few showers and thunder showers developing. It doesn't look like all that big a deal rainfall wise. A windy, slightly warmer 63. But we're still a little bit below average through the early part of next week. But maybe later next week, we'll get temperatures back into the 70s. But until then, Brad and Shelley will have to keep that jacket handy. All right. We will.